If you're using version 126 or higher on BetAngel, uh, you'll notice that in the middle of the screen some of the options have disappeared, such as confirm bets and so on. And what we've done with these is we've put them underneath this area here, a custom, set a custom setting area, uh, which allows for profiling, which I shall now endeavour to explain. If you click on the spanner, what you actually get is a settings menu. You can see that the settings options have gone from the tabs, and some of the settings have disappeared from here, and they are all now included within this dialog box. So within this area, you can set up general preferences for the display, if you want to change the colour of the display, volume moving average, basically items that were available elsewhere have, have now been integrated onto there. Elements of staking such as your maximum liability, which is on the middle bar, have also moved onto here. Uh, default stake. Also, um, general areas of behaviour, such as if you want to switch on or off confirm bets, that's within the behaviour section. Uh, as is saved bets information and various other areas. There's a communications area which I'll go on to explain in a minute and um, the ladder settings have also moved onto here as well so if we go to the ladder display there was generally a load of options at the top of the screen here and they are now all integrated within the settings area. And you can see all of the other options such as highlight traded odd, market depth, trading profit column, all of those details are held within here as are automation settings, details on the charts, so this would be the charts in the charting area, but also this the advanced charting function is available from within the settings area as well now. So basically all of the elements of that can be deemed as settings are configurable from within this tab now, including things like the sound alerts. Other areas that um, are stored within the settings area, if you go to a chart, for example, and you say five seconds, um, link it to the market and so on, which is explained in another video, that will be saved within the settings area. So any of these settings that you've set up here, um, so let's say for example, um, what we should do actually is we should do uh, save as default. So first of all we're going to have default, that will be our standard setting, you can see it appear in the drop down menu now. And um, let's just bring that chart back up. But if we wanted to modify some elements of it, so say we wanted to apply global settings, so I'm going to do offsetting by 1, fill or kill, 100, stop at 6 ticks, place at 10, uh, with the book reversed, I could actually go in there and say um, trailing stop. And elements of all of the settings that we've applied through the settings area here, all of these elements here, the chart settings and the global settings, are now saved under this settings menu called trailing stop. If I want to go back to default I can click on that and you can see it's all reverted back to where it was before. So the concept of the settings area really is if you wanted to trade in a certain style or you were trading a football match, tennis match or so on, then you can custom define every aspect of the settings within BetAngel. Um, all of the global settings, elements to do with charts, and then you can actually save that under whatever profile you like. And obviously the advantage is this is you don't have to spend time setting up and messing around with elements here and there. So very flexible, lots of options available in there. Some of the options have come off of the screen, off of the main trading screens to create space. And we've also removed the settings area on one of the tabs as well and put it within here. And this is because we wanted to allow you to make all of these settings and then save them in a drop down menu profile as you wish. When you boot up BetAngel uh, you'll have the option of choosing the settings that you prefer at that point as well. So very flexible and um, that's an overview of the settings area.